Today on Schmindian, we're making a dish that is simple yet complex, but also delicious. We're going to take this weird looking vegetable and turn it into this delicious bowl of pindi masala. Let's make it. Welcome to Schmindian, my name is Paul Singh and this is Indian Food Demystified, aka Indian Food for Schmucks. So we're making okra. Okra is that weird vegetable that you find in every grocery store. You wonder who's buying them and what are they using them for? And then you wonder why you've never tried eating okra. They're there, someone's buying them, why isn't that person you? But then you dismiss that thought and you head right for the rotisserie chicken, just like you always do. Well I'm here to tell you that you should give this okra a chance. Okra is delicious for multiple reasons. Purely from a design perspective, the okra cross-section is elite. I mean, look at that geometry. What other vegetable is shaped like the pentagon? I'll save you some time. None. Just the okra. Secondly is the texture. The skin is weird. I was going to say that. It's weird textured skin. It feels like the skin of like a lizard or something. <laughs> kind of like suede, a little bit like suede. You know what it is? It's like, imagine peach fuzz if you shaved a peach and then let the fuzz grow back for two days. This is like two days of peach fuzz. But it's not soft though, it's like on a firm. Thing is actually firm. Third great thing about okra is that you use it to make bindi masala, which is a great beginner's dish if you're curious about making Indian food. This is the dish you want to start with. Because bindi masala has maybe four ingredients plus some spices and stuff, but basically four ingredients. But when it comes together, the levels of texture and levels of flavor and how they interact with each other is just, it's unbelievably complex. And so afterwards, when you make it, you think, I didn't really do much, but my God, like where did all this texture come from? Where did all these flavors come from? How is this thing telling me a story while I'm eating it? I don't know, but it does. There's really only one word for it. And that word is magical. So we're gonna call this magical bindi masala. All right, let's just make it. And here's our ingredients. Four things only. This is it. This is all you need. And some spices and oil, but you know, pretty much this. One onion, about 37 okra, one green chili, one lime, and a plethora of spices. All right, off we go. First the onion. We're gonna cut this in half and then chop it into thin strips lengthwise using radial cuts. You can use a kadai, which is the old school Indian way to do it, real authentic. Uh, or you can use a wok or a frying pan. If you wanna be true hipster though, Get yourself a good eye. Quarter cup of oil, and in you go. We're gonna cook these until they're just about glassy. While that's happening, we're gonna cut up our okra. We're gonna cut off the tip and cut off the head and then cut them into about half inch pieces. So I cut that pile of okra down into 239 pieces. You also must have exactly 239 pieces, otherwise the recipe will not work. That's a joke. Anyway, in they go. Next, we're bringing the heat, the chili pepper. I'm gonna dice this guy up, super thin. Watch your fingers. And that goes. Now for my favorite part, you gotta add spices. Teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of turmeric, 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 teaspoon of paprika. Real nice color on that. Half teaspoon of crushed chilies. Should put in the garam masala. We're going one and a half teaspoons. All right, just fold these together. Now for the lime. I'm gonna cut this in half. And just squeeze away your problems. So we're gonna cook this down for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna cover it, lower the heat slightly, and let it steam for another 10 minutes. And that steaming and cooking is gonna create a really nice soft texture where all those ingredients are gonna come together and just create this just like a bomb of flavor. Here's what you weren't expecting. Those okras that I talked the big game about, they're filled with slime. Plot twist, who saw that coming? But it's okay because we are going to cook that slime out of it. And uh, the slime itself is actually delicious when it becomes integrated with the entire masala. So you shouldn't feel betrayed because you bought these okras and then cut them open and found that they were filled with slime. The slime is good. We like the slime. Eat your slime and like it. And let that steam for about 10 minutes or so. You want to know what's going on under this lid? Really nice things. 
Check on it every two or three minutes just to make sure things are going well. And the onions are sweet and soft and the okra is going to soak up the spices and provide that kind of unexplainable texture. It's, it's a very meaty kind of texture. Indian food really is like witchcraft sometimes, you know? It's just like you don't think anything's going to happen and then just like these incredible flavors happen. And you're just left wondering like, what, what was that? Was that magic? It might be magic. The bad thing about Indian food is that food porn wise, it's not great food porn. It doesn't look like a nicely grilled steak or a grilled cheese sandwich or some kind of you know rich pasta or something like that. So if you can, please share these videos with people because uh, you know, they are good, they are magical. So let's just share the magic. We're ready to go. All right, let's plate this up. So I'm gonna eat this the Punjabi way with the roti, some dal on the side, and some yogurt on the other side, and a mango pickle. There's multiple flavor paths here, 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 and here. All right, let's just get in there. Grab the roti, break a piece off, and a little swipe of mango pickle, and just grab some, and just shove it in your pie hole. It's so hard to explain because the textures are, so, are nothing like you've ever tasted before. It's soft and firm at the same time. There's layers of textures and layers of flavors as well. The okra is weird because the skin is kind of firm, but the whole thing is like a little, little sponge, like a little spring. So it creates this really interesting texture, which is soft, but also a little bit firm. And then the onions are in there too. Their sweetness mixed with the spiciness and the tartness, it's weirdly good. I don't know what to say. Because most things when you say are good, it's, it's usually like salty, kind of like fatty, bright, like, you know, heaviness. But this is not that. It has such a brightness and a boldness. Uh, and it's just, it's one of those dishes which is just really, really confident and assertive. <laughs> when you taste it, you're like, okay, all right. I see you, Pindi. I see you, Okra. Yeah, I see what you're doing here. So simple, so affordable, but incredibly complex. Really like it. But don't just take my word for it. Let's see what my dad thinks. Dad. Yes, Paul. What, <laughs> what are we eating today? Like okra to me. Okay. We used to grow at our home in India. You did? Yeah, we had a, a garden mm -hmm. in the house. Mm -hmm. And my father used to plant a lot of okra plants. Mm -hmm. He used to make two, three times a week. Two, three times a week? Yeah. So he, you he liked it very much. You used to eat this dish two or three times a week? Yes. Oh, okay. So my father used to say it's good for health. Mm -hmm. And he lived a long time, right? 93. 93, okay. And my great-grandfather, mm -hmm. no, no, my grandfather, not your great-grandfather, died when he was 104. Wow, okay. Do you think that uh, the okra had something to do with that? I don't know about my great grandfather, my grandfather, but my father, I think, may have something to do with it. Really? Because I don't know what my great grandfather, oh, my grandfather is. Okay. Would you like to try one? Try it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. It's very good. Okay. Everything is perfect. Okay. And, uh, no, no, it's good. Everything is good. Yeah. Would you like to change the recipe at all? Could it use anything? No, spices are pretty good. Yeah, everything is good? Yeah. Yeah. Not today, no changes? I, no. no <clears throat> everything good. That's what I know. Uh, I, I, my taste is good. Okay. All right, that's it. Thanks a lot. Oh, good, good. <laughs> okay. Nice day. Can I eat this now? Yeah, you can eat this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can eat it if you want. You can no, it's okay. Oh, okay, all right. If you like this video and you'd like to see more, then click over there. Or over there. Vaya con Dios, mi amigo. <laughs>